Hello everybody, welcome to the 10 minute tips. My name is Sector035 and this time I'll be your host at another video of the OSINT Curious Project. Today we are going to talk a little bit about digital certificates. The certificates are used to encrypt your, uh, the traffic between your browser and the website for instance, but they also store some information inside. Now I'm going to show you a little bit what you can do in regards to grabbing that information and use it for an investigation into a company or a website. Now I've opened up the website crt.sh and you can search for expired and current certificates within uh, the whole database that Sectigo currently has and other companies too. This is part of the certificate transparency. It's a public uh, database with certificate information. So let's say we are looking at WeChat.com. Now if we press search we are going to look only for the certificates that are used by WeChat.com. And we get a little list. We got the the old and expired certificates and we got the current ones, the ones that are currently in use. Now I'm going back for a second because I want to know a little bit more. I also want to see whether there are any subdomains under WeChat.com. To do that we add a wildcard character. Here they use a percentage. Percentage.WeChat.com means any subdomain if within the WeChat.com domain space will be targeted in this search. Now if we press search we find out that there's a lot of different subdomains music, uh, image cache, uh, we, we, we got something that has to do with payments? I don't know, there's a lot of information stored inside. So this is already a treasure trove. We find a lot of different subdomains. Now I'm going to have a look at one specific case. This is what we call a wildcard certificate. Uh, the star.wechat.com means as long as it's hosted under WeChat.com, any kind of subdomain is able to use this certificate. We click it by going on the left here to the CRTSH ID. We open it up and we find some information inside. We first of all find who the issuing party was and we find some information about the subject. Now, nowadays a lot of people use Let's Encrypt. That doesn't have a lot of information inside. but these um, these certificates that are given out uh, by certificate authorities, uh, they actually normally they demand some kind of information about you. So here, this is a certificate given out to Weixing.qq.com, the R&D department of the Shenzhen Tencent Computer Systems Company Limited in China. This is not all the information inside. We can also go down a little bit more and go to the uh, X509 extensions because we find here the subject alternative names that is a list that is some it isn't always used but there's a list with extra web servers that can use this certificate so we find a lot more domain names here url.cn another qq.com we got the WeChat.org, WeChatApp.com, etc., etc. Now, we are going to go to a different site. If we look at the fingerprint, the SHA-256 fingerprint, which is a hash, that's a totally different subject. Read up on that uh, or somewhere else. We are going to click this link and it opens up the website Census. Now, within Census, it has all the information again. We see all the domain names that we've looked at, and we can even we can even click on these and search on them. But the really cool thing with Census is you can immediately find out what websites are using this certificate by going to Explore on the right and click on the IP version four hosts. And Census will query its database and it comes back with all the hosts that are currently using the certificate with that exact same same fingerprint. Now the cool thing with Census is you can do a lot more because we can also just go to the certificates. 
let's say we we want to search from within here so what we can do is we can look for the past names and we can say I want to have everything that is serving the WeChat.com wildcard and it will go and look inside the database and it finds any certificate that census knows about that has star.wechat.com inside we press enter to search and we find 16 results within these 16 results on the left we can see there are 8 expired if we want to make sure that we only get the current and still active uh, certificates we open up more and we click on the unexpired now it adds a little uh, and adds a little extra part to the query tax raw unexpired and we find there are eight currently eight certificates that are being out there among them the one we have seen before this is not all you can do within census there are a lot of things um, and a lot of fields inside these certificates if you want to have a good overview just go and open up the raw data and then click on the table or JSON if you prefer that and you can go and look at each and every field that they uh, have inside the database of census here we see all the names that are listed within the certificate and if we scroll down we also have the subject parsed subject the common name that's the website uh, we got the country and even a locality and an organization etc to give you an example what you can do with the locality what we can do is go to the search bar and let's say we are looking for financial companies so we can search for the word finance just the word finance nothing else um, and it let's say we want to look for anything that is inside of the locality of New York now I put this within brackets to make sure that New and York doesn't break up the uh, the query and I'm also going to have a look at the tags raw and expired that means I only want to see the currently active certificates of anything within New York that was registered that has the name finance in either a domain name a company name or any kind of free text field within the certificate we press enter and we get a nice list of results back if I didn't make a typo we got 350 results of currently active certificates so there there are a lot of things you can do just only with the certificates and the information that is inside it will take you a little while to to find out what is in there and how you can use that for an investigation just create create an account just at this moment you see I'm not even signed in but you can create an account and use 250 queries a month in census for free go on play with it and see what you can find out for now that is it this was just a short overview of what you can do uh, with SSL certificates in an investigation thank you for watching my name is sector 035 and stay ocean curious <laughs>